Party Me Script here, and today I'm going to be doing a blind reaction to the second episode of The Forest Beast titled Discord. Now, this episode came completely out of nowhere. I, I figured it was coming sometime in May, but then I looked at my notifications this morning and I'm like, whoa, it's out! But I haven't watched the previous episode to prepare myself, so I've just done that. And now I'm going to be reacting to the second episode. So here's a fun little fact about episode 2 and onwards. I am actually composing the rest of the songs for this audio drama. Yeah, I didn't compose any for the previous episode because uh, I guess <laughs> just wasn't really in the correct creative mindset. But from episode 2 and onwards, the, uh, the songs in this audio drama I've composed. So uh, I'll be very intrigued to hear them because I haven't actually heard the final one for episode 2 yet. Uh, I only know the demo that I did. But uh, yeah, okay, fun fact over. It's time for me to react to episode 2 in 3, 2, 1, and play. Previously on The Forest Beast. Once upon a time. Oh yes, I'm the narrator in this a kingdom audio drama. Suntrust, a beautiful, magical, wondrous kingdom. And then I spotted so it's many cameos in the it's previous fine. episode. Uh, I can't hold it. Your Highness. And then no! the and then the mother oh, dies. Look, Twilight, a forest. And then there's yeah, Evik is out. You don't want to go in there. Wait, why not? I just wanted to see you. Oh, oh yeah, my friends, Matthew old. Lee. And, well, Your voice confused me <laughs> because I thought you were Brian oh, Random oh, VA when I first watched this episode. The engagement isn't bad, <laughs> is it? Uh, I will not get your voices gay. confused again. <laughs> Where is it? This isn't good. I wonder. Oh yeah, and then she's in the forest. It seems like a normal hut. But then it turns out to be dun 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 Discord. And then we have the opening. I love this song so much. <laughs> Featuring the voice talents of Sugar Cloud as Fluttershy, Brian Brandon VA as Discord. I'll be looking forward to his performance as usual because Brian Brandon VA has an awesome Discord. Ebony Tales as Twilight Sparkle. Matthew Lee as Moonstone. I will not get your voice confused again. <laughs> Mukela as Snow Lily. Just turning it down a little bit. There we go. The Forest Beast. I love the animated background. I think that was done by Mad Artist. Alright, let's go. Oh, oh, um, I'm sorry, is this your hut? Suddenly, day, and suddenly, Evakazat. <laughs> I was just admiring your lovely home, is all. And that purple fire. Where did you get it from? Did you make it? It's really amazing. <laughs> this gold looks so done. Is your business here? Oh, well, I saw that the barrier was down, so... So you just decided to waltz in here without any protection? Well, I didn't see any dangerous creatures, so I thought it wouldn't be too dangerous. Plus, I have my own ways of being protected. Just leave if you have no actual business here. What about you? What? Well, like I said, the barrier is open. Why haven't you left? It's because Why he lives there. You tell me that. <laughs> uh, what do you mean? You're letting me, the awful, horrible beast of this forest, know that the magical barrier is down so I can get out? I didn't know you were the beast. You <laughs> didn't know? 
Are you dense? <laughs> Look at me! <laughs> well, I it's just like that scene from Shrek. Scary like, don't get. Well, take a look at me. What am I? First, <laughs> I don't think you Pretty much reminds me of that. And why is that? Aren't you scared I could slash at you at any moment? Well, from what everyone tells me about you, I think you Discord just looks so done. You would have done it already, <laughs> right? Where are you going? None of your business. You should leave. She's not. She's just gonna follow him, isn't she? <laughs> look at that. Look at that grin on what her face. What do you think you're doing? Well, I don't really know my way out of the forest, and it might be more dangerous if I'm alone trying to find my way out. You really aren't scared of me at all, are you? Should I be? <laughs> that goofy grin. <laughs> Aww. Aww, oh, he helped her out. That's nice. Uh oh, thank you. Can I come back tomorrow? I prefer you didn't. What was that? And off he goes. All right then. Fluttershy's gonna fall in love with him. I That's know usually how I these go. My dad would think. But Snow has always been a little different. Perhaps I'll pay her a visit tomorrow morning. Oh, this art is cute. Snow? Snow Lily? Fluttershy! You know, you really gotta knock a bit louder next time. I thought it was a mouse coming to visit me. Oh, wow. Sorry. <laughs> so, what you need? Is anyone else here right now? It's a little... private. Ooh, a sneaky girl thing? Hey, Oak Tree, clear out! It's girl chat time. Got it. Oh, Just wow. Just make it quick. We still have work to do. Alright, alright. Wow. <laughs> so... What seems to be the trouble today? I'm not exactly sure how you'll react. I know you always support me, but this time it's a bit shocking. You! Doing something shocking? <laughs> so what is it? Last night, I went into the forest. You mean THE forest? Yes, THE forest. My goodness! This is shocking! So what happened? And wait, what about the barrier? For some reason, the barrier was gone. This is big! That's not quite all there is to tell. I also... um... Fluttershy, you know you could tell me anything, right? We've been friends for as long as I can remember. I saw the beast of the forest while I was there. <laughs> you got away? I talked to him as well. He doesn't seem as dangerous as everyone says. Just a little grumpy, maybe. You talked to him? Yep. And... There's more? And I... I want to go back. This is a lot to process. That facial expression before, so you really just like back, huh? when your eyes just turn into yeah. eggs. It's pretty yeah, much what I, I call it. I Egg eyes. I want your opinion. I mean, he does sound pretty interesting. I've never heard of such a creature. But why tell me? Why not ask Moonstone or Twilight about this? Well, Twilight would get really mad to find out I went into the forest. Plus, she would never let me go back. And Moonstone? He's the one who actually told me I should go, but if he knew I was face to face with the so-called beast, I'm sure he wouldn't let me go back either. So you're asking me for advice then? Well, you know a lot about different creatures and history and stuff. Plus, I know you would never snitch on me. We've been best friends since we were little. Aww. I never expected you to bring something like this up. When you came in here, I thought you'd want some sort of herb or medicine, since that is what the Royal Herbist Room is for. The Royal Herbist well, Room. I just couldn't wait for you to get off work to talk about this. It's fine, Fluttershy. Really. I'm always happy to talk to you. Thank you, Snow Lily. Now, about this forest thing, what do you think? Well, you're the princess, right? I think you should do what you want. That's what Moonstone said. And you guys are right, but I can't decide everything on my own. 
Hmm. In that Being case, indecisive. I definitely think you should go. Really? <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, we're talking about a creature no pony even knows about, let alone actually seen. This is huge. That's the thing. <laughs> I don't want a lot of ponies to know. I mean, imagine if my father found out. I guess you have a point. He would yep. probably flip out. Mm -hmm. Wait, then why do you even want to go back? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure myself. I just have this feeling that I should. I just feel like there's something I have to do there. And who knows how long he's been there. He must be so lonely. I want to find out more. Someone's got a crush. Well, if that's your decision and what you really want, I fully support you. I promise I won't tell. Snare Lily is a good friend. I have someone to talk to about this. Oh, we got this art again from episode one. Oh, Twilight, it's you. Are you going somewhere? Uh, oh, um, well. Ah, Twilight. Good to see you. Oh, Prince hey, Moonstone. Moonstone. Bay. It's you. No, please. We've known each other long enough. Just call me Moonstone. Right, yes, of course. If I may, what are you doing here at this time of night? Well, me and Fluttershy are going out on an evening stroll. <laughs> it's just a little date we put together. You are? A we date? Are? Yes. We haven't had a chance to go out much, so I thought... Ah, uh, right. Out, a diversion, Fluttershy you mean. Accepted. <laughs> oh! Well, I, I won't keep you then. I hope you have fun. I'll leave you to it then. Did we have something planned? I'm no. so sorry, I must have forgotten. No, we don't. No, <laughs> they don't. W what? I guess you don't know a couple up when you see one. <laughs> oh, you scared me for a second. That face Thank you. that he's I making is so sneaky. You don't owe me anything. We're engaged. It's my job to help out my future wife. Although, if you do want to go out on a date, I wouldn't mind at all. Right, well, thank you. I see you're still wearing that clip I gave you. Oh yes, well, it's special to me. I feel safe with it. And after all, a friend gave it to me. Ah. I'm glad you think that way about it. It makes me feel... Really happy. Something wrong? Hmm? No, no, of course not. You'd better head off to that forest. How did you know where I was going in the first place? I just had a feeling is all. And you're okay with it? Of course. Why wouldn't I be? I'm the one who told you to go there in the first place. That's true, well, he I'm did. I'm going for a second time. Aren't you curious about what I'm and doing? And then his outfit You're just flashes beast. on and off. You know? I thought you'd get really worried if you found out I met the beast. I kind of figured, I suppose. I'm not gonna lie, I was a little worried at first when you went, but... I believe you have everything under control, considering you're going again. Plus you have the clip, remember? So That's I guess true. You know the barrier is down too? I assume so, since you're going back. Does my father know the barrier is down? Nope. Nobody knows. Honestly, it might be best to keep it a secret for now. Or else there would be a lot of chaos. Yep. Plus, the creatures that were in there haven't caused any problems, so there's no reason to report it. Although, I'm surprised the beast hasn't caused at least a little trouble. He hasn't hurt you or anything, has he? No. No, he hasn't done anything to me. I don't think he would hurt anyone. I'm not so sure. He might be leaving you alone just because you have that stare thing, right? And that oh, time yes. you have with other animals so would be a big factor. But he is not just some animal. He's like you and me. What are you talking about? He's a pony? Well, no. He's nothing like I've ever seen. But I just know he wouldn't hurt anyone. You I sure didn't about that? stare or anything on him. If you say so, I wouldn't trust him completely, though. He is still known for being the beast of that forest. I wouldn't even call him a beast. 
Well, considering what I've heard. Don't you believe me? No, I, I, I do. But I just feel like there might be some factor that you're missing, is all. I just want oh, to Oh, you're saying safe. that I know. your future wife Thank is naive. I get that you want me to be careful, but trust me. Like you said before, I have everything under control. Right. Like I said before, you should do what you want. You're the princess, and you're... You're your own pony. You're right. And thank you again, Moonstone. Anything for you. Ah, uh, here's my song! Here's the first song that I've composed to the audio drama. <laughs> Alright, how's it gonna go? I wonder what she'd think. I wonder what she'd say. If all the things I've done were just to bring her love my way Am I doing the right thing by wanting her to stay? I wish I knew the lines like I were acting in a play I wish I could be free I wish that I was good My heart inside screams out while the world spins as it should The position where I stand I'd change it if I could I know just where I'll land When I'm knocked from where I stood But then Her face comes into view The words Inside become so clear I know The things I'd like to do I wish That I could just be near her Standing by your side is the life I'd like to live But something's got to give Like his vocals so far, I'm really impressed. What am I meant to think? What is it I should do? My intentions all these years would just be misconstrued My love for you is real I only long for you my heart screams out again, but nothing will come through. But then, her face comes into view. The words become so clear. I know what I must do. I just need to be near her. Standing by your side is a life I'd like to live. Yes, he nailed that note. <laughs> but something's got to give. Yes, something's got to give. Yay! That was done so well. <laughs> nice. So that was the first song I composed like for the audio drama, everyone. <laughs> It's strange, though. I know Fluttershy and him have been good friends for a long time now, but I also know Fluttershy doesn't like him that way. Maybe she's growing a liking to him. If so, I'm glad she's starting to mature. Moonstone? What are you doing here? I thought you were out in Fluttershy. Huh? Oh! Yeah. Well, uh, I guess it was just a quick little date. Well, if you say so. I'm really happy you guys are finally handing it off. I never thought the day would come. <laughs> <laughs> no, the day has not it, come. It may seem far, but I need a thing. What did you say? I just said these kind of things take time. I suppose so. Although 15 years is a long time. <laughs> well, Fluttershy and I didn't like each other that way long ago. <laughs> yeah, when you guys were I guess six. That's true. Maybe the king chose you for her because you've both known each other so long. Even I thought that was a mistake at first. Not gonna lie. It might be a mistake even now. What do you mean? Uh, nothing. Really. Just thinking out loud. It's late. We should be getting some rest. Good night, Twilight Sparkle. Right. Uh, good night. 
It puts me at ease to know Fluttershy has a moonstone, knowing that he's taking such good care of her, ensuring her safety and making sure she doesn't get herself into trouble. Mm -hmm. Makes my job a bit easier. <laughs> well, yeah, not as... Hello. Wow, his house is doing the shocked face. Oh. Like, like Flash eyes beast. here. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, forest friend. Although I doubt he thinks of us as friends. I really gotta find out his name. Hello? Hello? <clears throat> ah, there he there is. Why did you come back? You said I could, right? I did. <laughs> what intentions could you possibly have to come back here? Oh my um, gosh. Nothing bad, I promise. I just wanted to learn more about you. Learn about me? What could you possibly want to learn about the forest beast? Well, you just seem so interesting and... Interesting, you say? <laughs> oh, um, yes. I mean, I've never seen anything like you. Yes. I'd imagine, since I'm the last of my kind. What happened to the rest of you? You sure are nosy. Uh oh, I'm so well. I don't know. Hmm? I don't know what happened to my kind. I hardly remember my childhood as it is. I'm so sorry. Why are you apologizing? It's not like you got rid of them or anything. Plus, it's very annoying. Sorry. <sighs> I, um, actually brought you some food. I thought you might be hungry. I'm sure you don't have much good food out here. Not to insult your food, though. I'm sure you're a great cook. I bet you work wonders with some nuts and berries. <laughs> About that. He can just conjure well, stuff up with his like magic, can't he? Stuff around here might be poisonous. I assure you. I have enough magic power to give myself plenty of food. Plenty of vegetables. Don't give me your pity. Just vegetables? Well, yes. I can summon vegetables, but not much else. I oh, okay. I to be able to do more, but... Look, I don't need your handouts. <laughs> the dots. Mm. Well, at least he's eating healthy, you know, with, with vegetables. <laughs> oh, she prepared a little picnic. That's so cute. Oh, I haven't even told you my name. I'm Fluttershy. What's your name? I've been really curious, but I doubt it's the beast. That's none of your business. Wow. You know, Discord is such a cindere. But how about a trade? I'll give you this tasty sandwich if you tell me your name. Fine. <laughs> fine, fine. I'll take the darn sandwich. <laughs> Happy now. <laughs> I'm still not telling you my name, though. Wow. But just so you know, I'm not accepting any pity from you. I would just hate to see the food go to waste. Wow. Oh, and she's drawing him. Oh, by the way, I didn't compose this one. Just just letting you guys know that this one isn't mine. I have this funny feeling he has changed. I want to see his heart. And even if I fall, I'll give it all I've got. And dare to risk it all. This is really cute, by the way. I hope he'll answer my call. I've got to stay tough. And dare to risk it all I can be brave enough To finally dare to risk it all 
questions in my mind cause me dismay if I can be I guess this is supposed to like be in her sketchbook and I think that's really cool place and prove I've grown I found someone who shouldn't have to be alone I want to see his heart and even if I fall I'll give it all I've got and dare to risk it all although he can be rough being attacked by the Twitter birds. I've gotta stay tough and dear to She's rocking on his tail. To finally dare to risk it all. To learn about this man. I'll do all that I can. His fears could finally fall. But only if I did. You're really starting to get on my nerves. <laughs> oh, um, uh, this is a uh, blue heart tattoo art. Tree to sit in. Mm. I'm still so envious how you know people can draw Discord Discord so well. I mean, I have improved, but still. <laughs> this was filled with dangerous ones, but when I first came here, there was no other creature to be seen, just you. Well. I'm assuming since the barrier is open, they left. Don't know where, but I don't care. Gives me more space. <laughs> I asked this before, and you didn't answer, but why don't you leave? There's no point. Even if I wanted to, there's nowhere for me to go. Aww. So I'm content here. But what about your friends? All your friends left the forest. Didn't you want to go with them? I don't have friends. Never had them. And I definitely don't need them. No, poor Everyone Discord. Everyone needs a friend. Don't you get lonely? Of course not. That's ridiculous. Besides, all the creatures, even the dangerous ones, are all scared of me. It's been like that my whole life. Every creature is scared of me. I'm not scared of you. <laughs> Aww. Sorry for laughing, but you might have had more luck just yelling boo at me. Boo? <laughs> <laughs> so, you really aren't scared of me. No. You haven't given me a reason to be scared. Isn't being the beast reason enough? Isn't that just what ponies call you? I now know for a fact that that isn't your actual name. Indeed. And yet, I deserve the title. What do you mean? No. Just because you look like that? That's just a small percentage of it, really. A small percentage? Did something happen? Yes. But it is none of your concern. Right. Oh, we're back. I thought you had some business somewhere else, considering how long we were walking for. Just because <laughs> I'm some scary beast, doesn't mean I can't take late night strolls. Oh no! That's not what I was saying at all! <laughs> I just thought- Aren't your parents worried about you? And being then suddenly Discord late, has shrunk. Especially being in a forest with a beast like me. Well, my father doesn't actually know I'm here. And... my mother... I She's see. dead. You don't seem like the type of pony to do that kind of thing. Go behind other ponies' backs and whatnot. I guess I don't usually do that type of thing. But this was important to me, and I doubt my father would approve of it. Only two of my pony friends really know I'm here. Ah, oh, we're in his house now. Aren't you going to come in? Or are you just going to stand there like a tree? <laughs> oh, right. Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes. The classic Fluttershy you wants to be a tree so joke. Much? What do you mean? You say sorry like it's your lifeline. Oh, um, I'm not really sure. I guess it's just how I am. I can stop if you'd like. 
Although I don't realize I'm doing it most of the time. <laughs> no, it's fine. Do as you wish. You know, mm? why do you keep calling yourself the Beast? Well, like I said before, I deserve that title. But just because other ponies gave you that title doesn't mean you deserve it. As far as I'm concerned, you're the complete opposite. You're not evil or scary. In fact, I think you're quite a beautiful creature. Aww. You'd be the first to say that. But you don't know anything about me. Well, I could if you just... You wouldn't want to hear it. Besides, if I did tell you, I'm sure you'd flee from this place forever. Are you saying you don't want me to leave? Uh, of course oh. not! <laughs> I don't care what you do! So then, you'd be fine... She is such a cinderay and I love it! more sandwiches? Do as you wish. I'll be sure to come back again tomorrow then. Oh, I didn't realize how early it was. I should go. It'll be morning soon. Discord. What? My name. It's Discord. Ah, there you go. Finally well, introduced since yourself. You're coming back tomorrow and probably the day after that. And maybe even the day after that. <laughs> I might as well tell you my name. Wow. What? Well, then I'll see you tomorrow, Discord. Oh, wait. I still don't know the way out. <sighs> I guess I have no choice but to guide you there. Thank you. Doesn't she ever sleep? Wow. Probably not. <laughs> 20 years ago. Oh yeah, so we're flashing back to... Oh hey, it's young Discord. Oh, who's this? Whoa. Oh. What? So he was controlled by a spell to kill Fluttershy's mother? That makes so much sense. But but who would do that to him? That's so messed up. He was just enjoying himself. Whoa. I was like gonna ask, like, did he why did he kill Fluttershy's mom? But then I realized he wasn't himself and doing that, and that makes so much sense. Okay, those are all the VAs. There's not too many VAs in this episode. Then we've got the artists, Evika, Shy, Viola Rose, Ugly Mug, Galaxy Brush, Zoodle, Matthew Lee. Oh, Matthew Lee did some art. Discord Girl 16, and Blue Heart Tattoo. Yes, I recognize something's gonna Original song. Composed by me and they expect us to Dare to original song Dare to Risk It All. I don't really know where uh, Risk It All is from. Thank you all for watching. Stick around for episode three. Yes, yes, I will stick around for episode three. Alright, so that was the second episode of The Forest Beast, and man, that, that plot twist at the end really got me, but that makes so much sense! I just didn't really think about that, and so now I'm thinking, who is that pony? Who's that cloaked pony that took control of Discord like that? Hmm. Well, I guess we'll find out in the future. I don't know if we'll find out in episode 3 or episode 4, but in sometime in the future we'll probably find out who that pony is. Because that is messed up, man. That is so messed up. I mean, Discord was just living a carefree life and then this pony shows up and ruins it. So, yeah, awesome episode again, and I'm very happy that the song that I wrote for the episode turned out really well. I, I made sure that the vocals were not, like, too high for the singer. <laughs> So that went well. 
next episode there will be more songs composed by me so keep your eyes peeled out for that I'm looking forward to uh, how they will sound in the next episode and uh, yeah I think that's all I have to mention this episode was a surprise I didn't prepare myself for it fast enough but that doesn't matter I have now watched it and I'm now up to date and now I just wait patiently for episode 3 whenever that comes around so I think I'm gonna end the reaction there before I continue on but yeah bye this is me script signing out mm -hmm.